Okay, what is up, everybody? We are live. What a gorgeous day it is, especially after the Dodgers winning last night. Woo! All <laughs> right, welcome to your daily dose of awesome, your life, 15 minutes of daily motivation, inspiration, and education so you can get your day started right. Today's topic, I had to actually change because Miss Kate McShay here had a dirty mouth. She wanted to say how to close a buttload of people in one hour or less. I'm saying boatload because, um, you know, uh, uh, she should act more like a lady, you know. <laughs> I have totally, oh, uh, if, you didn't, if you didn't notice already, I got Kate McShay here. I've totally thrown her under the bus and I am proud of yeah. it. What's up, Kate? How you doing? Good. Can I just like duck down, down like this? this? Yes, yes. So how to so, no today, so Kate's gonna teach on how to close a boatload of people in one hour or less uh, on today's daily dose of awesome. My name is Freddy Sabaos. I'm a lead generation online marketing expert specializing in helping home business owners, whether they be network marketers, uh, direct sellers, or affiliate marketers, multiply their incomes using the internet. Now, I built my first six-figure network marketing business within two years of discovering the information. We teach at Elite Marketing Pro, and over the past 10 years, I've been responsible for over $11 million in gross income into my home businesses and hundreds of millions of dollars more in the incomes of our clients during that same period. In fact, Kate is one of our most uh, esteemed clients, and so she's kicked butt over the past three, four years in her online business, starting from literally zero, and she'll be sharing uh, one of the key strategies that she's used in order to accomplish that. Now. If you're new to our training, I highly recommend that you subscribe to our free online recruiting and marketing bootcamp that's linked in the description of this video. So that'll actually give you a, a very in-depth overview as to how online recruiting and online marketing works for your particular home-based business. And so there's 10 lessons there, absolutely free. And also, if you want to uh, check out my book, you will get some information on how to how to get get, get, your, get, get a copy for yourself. Now. Uh, if you're new to these trainings, if, if this is the first time watching this on your newsfeed, I highly recommend you subscribe to these live notifications so that you can make sure you get them every single day. On the top right corner, if you're watching this on mobile, on the top right corner, you can click on the video, whether it's live or recording, and it'll actually pull up a menu where you can subscribe to our fan page, uh, which will unlock the content and also turn on notifications to make sure you get notified every time we go live with awesome training like what Kate's going to deliver Today, if you're watching this on desktop, you can simply click on the logo right above the description. It'll take you to our fan page. You can click on liked, and on that same like button, there's a pull down menu where you can turn on notifications. Specifically, turn on notifications for live posts and videos. That's how we deliver our best content, free content. So there's nothing to, uh, it's just absolutely free uh, and open to, to everybody as long as you're subscribed. With that said, what is up, Kate? How are you doing? Hi, I'm good, Fernie. Thanks for throwing me under the bus in the beginning. <laughs> wow, I mean, you're, 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 like, you're, you're like my little sister. I got to do it. I know. <laughs> it's um, autocorrect, right? Boatload turned into a buttload, which, is, which doesn't make sense because normally it autocorrects the other way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. You, you, you sent me the title. I, I, unfortunately, I caught the mistake. And, uh, yeah, and, and, and we prevented from, from, from offending anyone that's watching right now, obviously. This is very <laughs> true. <laughs> so, and let, I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you, big brother. brother. <laughs> All right. Well, okay, Kate. Well, I'll let you take, I'll, I'll let you take it from here. I, I will be quiet and stop throwing you under the bus. And then I'll be back <laughs> at the end, all right? Awesome. Sounds, Sounds good. good. And, and before, before I hop on, I've got my phone here. I'm actually have the live up on here. So if you're hopping on, I know there's quite a few of you on here. Just pop in and say who you are and where you're coming in from. I saw Jovita's here, Scott's here, Cecilia, Heather, oh, Andrew. How you doing, Andrew? Uh, Barbara, we've got Lisa. Make sure you pop in and you say hi. Let us know who you are and where you're coming in from. Because I've got a special treat for all of you today that I want to talk to you about, which is something that has been really, really powerful for my business and my husband's business. Um, and it's all about hosting online events or hosting webinars or master classes or trainings, um, whatever you want to call them. And I'm going to talk to you about some really critical components on what I like to call the 15 minute hosting hook. So how to actually host a compelling online event that gets people interactive with you, gets people engaged and gets people to want to stay on your training. Okay. So before I get into that, I just want to talk about the concept in general, because one of the things that I realized, so to, in order to get our business, 
um, to where it needed to be for me to do what I wanted to do inside of our business, which initially was just repeat, replacing my teacher salary. I was a previous second grade teacher, and I really just wanted to replace my teacher salary, which was $36,000 per year. So initially, it didn't seem like that was going to be too much for me to do. However, it proved to be a struggle for me because initially when I started out building my business, um, we had moved across the country. I didn't know anybody, and I was trying to do things offline. I was trying to recruit people offline, but I literally was in a cold market all the time. I didn't have anybody warm near me, and I had already called all my family members and my friends, and they kind of laughed at me because I basically just left my teaching job to start up this home business. And so what I started to realize was that there were two things that I struggled with. The first thing, and comment in and let me know if you struggle with this as well too, okay? So the two things I struggled with in the beginning were obviously meeting enough people, having enough people to talk to about my business, and number two was having enough time in the day so I didn't have to hustle and grind for 12 hours to actually meet enough people to hit the daily numbers and the weekly numbers that I needed to hit my financial goals. So those were two big things that I struggled with in the beginning. So what I found though was we started thinking about a concept, right? So I, I struggled offline. I actually came online to start building and networking with people. So I individually messaged people on Facebook, started building a network that way. And it worked for me to find more people. However, I couldn't seem to find, like close enough people into my business in the time frame I needed. So we actually started thinking about and seeing other people do something where you take the concept of the idea of a home party, right? So network marketing companies teach home parties because they work. You get a mass amount of people in a home at one time, one person does a presentation, and then you close a ton of sales, right? Same thing with live events. If someone's speaking from Sage and you've ever seen someone, what's up, Hank, hey, Yasmin, hey, Lisa, hey, Cynthia, awesome. Keep coming on, guys. Let us know who you are, where you're coming in from. So, um, when it comes to someone selling or presenting from stage, right, at a big live event, those things work and people become very profitable from just speaking for 90 minutes or 60 minutes on stage because they have a captivated audience in front of them in a very small amount of time where they can present their information and give people a way to get access. So what we started to think about and what we were actually encouraged to do by Fernie and Tim Irway and Matt Crystal, who are our mentors at that time, was actually start hosting what are called webinars or online events where you get a ton of people in front of your offer at one time where you can share that information and then you can close people um, either into whatever kind of program you have or business opportunity or market out your products and services, okay? So that's kind of the concept. And for us, I didn't want to, like, I'm in my PJs right now. <laughs> I didn't want to get out of my PJs. I kind of wanted to just chill and stay at home. So if I could do it online and take the communication platform, so literally I'm just transitioning, getting a bunch of people in front of my offer from offline to online, then let's see how that works, right? So the pretty cool thing is when we tried it the first time, we made two sales. We invited, I think, 20 people, got nine people to show up, closed two sales and made $594. Then we actually started working with these guys at Elite Marketing Pro and learned a really cool strategy. And after just 14 days of implementing that strategy, we made over $12,000 in one night because we were able to get a captivated audience. However, what I wanna to talk to you about today and I wanna to briefly touch on is the importance of what has to happen in the first 15 minutes of hosting an online event or hosting a webinar, okay? Um, so, okay, good, cool. People are asking questions. Keep chiming in, ask questions. I'm gonna go through three little steps, okay, that are really important for you to have in your first 15 minutes, and then we can go from there and I'll answer any questions that you guys have if we have time. So, when it comes to hosting a high quality presentation online, here's the biggest thing I can tell you. There's three steps that I like to think of when I break apart presentations. The first piece is an engaging introduction. The second piece is a simple value sequence where you actually give people free value on your training that, you can, um, that they can walk away with and they could go implement or they feel like their time was well spent. And then the third piece is obviously a simple close sequence where you close people into your product or service and you share with them an opportunity that you have and they have an option to buy. 
So I want to know from you guys, just comment in, where do you think most people spend their time and focus their time? Do they focus on the engaging introduction, the value sequence, or the close? Where do you think most people, when they're preparing for an online event, where do you think they spend their time? Let's see. See if anybody comments in. I know we have a little bit of a delay, I believe. All right, I'm going to keep going, but feel free to comment yeah. in, okay? Oh, there we go, okay. A couple of people were saying close, awesome. So what I can share with you is what I used to focus in on in the beginning was the close or the value sequence. Those were like my two big things that I focused in on. However, what I realized when I started hosting a lot of webinars was I really needed to pay attention to the first 15 minutes because when you're hosting events online, it's different than when you actually get to see people face to face. And when, if someone's gonna leave the room, you can actually make that connection with them, right? It's a physical thing that you're able to do when you have people right in front of you. However, when you're on online and people come to your online event, they're in a distraction zone. <laughs> they're distracted by their kids. There might be a dog barking, like what happens to us all the time. Um, someone could come knock on the door. The television might be on, right? They are in a distraction zone. So your job is to hook them in and get them captivated and engaged with you in literally 15 minutes, okay? And so here's some quick ways on how to do that. So the first thing when people hop onto your training is you wanna make sure that you have something up that shares with them what you're gonna be talking about. Because when someone hops onto your training, they don't wanna hear about you, they don't wanna hear about you know, everything that you've got going on or how powerful and fabulous you are, they literally want to know what's in it for them, okay? These presentations are all about how you can better serve your attendees. So a really great strategy, okay? And I don't have time to go deep into it today. However, I have a video series, um, a four-part video series, and video one in this video series um, will actually start to walk you through the process, and video two will walk you deep into this process. But you literally just have to have a slide up on your screen that says this, ready? How to blank without blank. So you write how to enter in some sort of dream and desire that your attendees might want without a pain and a struggle. So a couple of examples, like let's say you have a 30 day weight loss challenge that's just all about eating healthy and it's not about working out, okay? And the people that you wanna have on your webinar um, don't have enough time to work out. Your beginning slide could be how to lose 10 pounds in the next 30 days without working out. So if you have an attendee that hops on and gets to see that and they read through that, they're gonna go, yeah, I wanna know more about that. I don't have time to work out. So it's cool because you can literally get their attention just like that. You get them to say yes, just like that. Okay, second thing that needs to happen to create a really engaging introduction, and this is a new twist that I've been testing out in our presentations and it's worked really well. And what I like to do is I like to call it feeling three questions to feel into the future, okay? Because here's the deal. When people hop on these kind of presentations, there could be a chance that they're tired from their work day or their kids were driving them crazy and now they want to focus in on your training, but they're in a space of where maybe they're tired or they had that day where everything went wrong for them. So your job as a presenter is to just quickly change their state of how they're feeling and get them excited and engaged and locked into you and your message. So there's three questions that you have to ask, okay? And I highly suggest that you watch the replay of this Daily Dose of Awesome so that you can take down all the notes because I know I'm going pretty quick today because I'm limited on time. So first three questions, okay? How would it feel if blank? Second question is what would it feel like to blank and then the third question is, what would that be worth to you? Okay, so for example, the first question could be, how would it feel to have an endless amount of leads and prospects in front of your offers every single day without you having to leave your house? And what's cool is, is you're gonna get a ton of people who are gonna start commenting in going, that would be amazing, I would absolutely love that, that would be phenomenal, it would be life-changing for me. And what you've immediately done with that first question is you've allowed people to all of a sudden go from the space of maybe not feeling fabulous to them being engaged with you. And then the second question, an example could be, 
what would it feel like to have five to ten new teammates joining your business every single month ready to produce and ready to help you build a powerhouse team without you ever having to meet them in person and so asking a question like that allows people to what I like to call feel into the future and really think about if, if that was happening in my life what would that feel like for me so you take them out of that current situation on how they're feeling and you allow them to start to think about the positives of what could happen so again you're gonna have people commenting that would be amazing I would love that how do I do it so you're getting people engaged in you and then the third question is all about asking what would that be worth to you so when they tie those two thoughts in together to those questions and how they're feeling and then they think about well if I had all those things what would it be worth in my life that's huge because what you're allowing people to do is open themselves up to having a buying conversation with you. At some point when you start sharing your offer, right in the beginning, within the first five minutes, they've already made a commitment that they're okay and they're open to having a buying conversation. because They want those things in their lives and if it would be worth, you know, a thousand dollars. People have said like, oh, that would be priceless. So those are things that are so important. And then the third thing before we wrap up, because I know we're coming to a close on our time, is sharing your ugly moments first, okay? Because of course you're gonna have to introduce yourself. All of these people don't know you, right? They're coming in from all over the country. They might be coming in from all over um, you know, the world to come and hear your message and get on your presentation. And so most people think, and comment in if, if this is you, okay? Comment in if this is you, where you feel like you don't have enough results or you feel like everything you do inside of your business like leads to what you think is a failure or what leads to is just like this epic fail, right? Well, I highly encourage you to share those ugly moments and share them in your presentation. I actually do that now and I do it first. I used to share all the amazing results that we had first, position myself as this leader. However, we made this switch on sharing our ugly moments first and there's a huge reason why and the reason is is because authenticity and make sure you definitely write this down authenticity and vulnerability sells it creates that instant bond and connection with people and so if you're willing and open to share something you know completely ridiculous that you've done that relates to the value you're gonna teach them and relates to the offer you're gonna share there's two things that'll happen and it's great people that are on your presentation are number one gonna go oh my gosh thank goodness someone else has done that too or they're gonna go, oh my gosh, thank goodness I've, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> you know, Scott saved me or Shanice saved me from doing that inside of my business or doing that inside of my health routine and my workout. And so when you do those first three things, and obviously there's so many more components with regards to the presentation to really make it compelling and keep people around, but if you do those three things, right, you create some sort of big promise in the beginning, how to blank without blank, and you have that up there when they join, using those three questions for feeling into the future, and then being okay and open with sharing your struggles and sharing your ugly moments first, you're instantly gonna have people that are in a distraction zone that are 100% glued to you. So those are the most important things I wanted to share with you today on this call to make sure that you guys can set yourselves up for the ability to host some really high quality presentations, even if you're just starting out and it's gonna be your first time doing it. So that's it, Fernie. What is up? Awesome, Hi. That, was that was really good. I, you know, you, you pretty much simplified the process of, of starting a webinar and creating that first part of the webinar, which is actually one of the most difficult parts. Because uh, yes. anyone, the content, the content goes right after that. It's you know, whatever content you're going to share, you share it. But setting them up properly is is super important. You just did that perfectly and in a very simple way. I think we uh, sometimes overcomplicate it. So, um, totally. So I know you're I know you're uh, involved in a uh, you're launching a course right now and it's on webinars. So people want to learn. Uh, one, get that free video series, and two, want to learn about uh, your your product in case they want to take that step in their business. Uh, where should they go? Yeah, so the best way to do it is go to katemcshay.com forward slash 60 M-I-N, so like short for minute, K 
Kate McShay.com forward slash 60 MIN. And what that'll do is that'll take you right over to a page where you can enter in your email and you'll get the four part video series. It'll take you to video four right now. However, videos one, two, and three are going to be at the bottom of that page. So you'll be able to watch the whole full training series and also hear more about our full training, uh, the 60 minute enrollment method and how you can move forward and enroll with us and help me or have me help you build out your presentations. Awesome. And Cecilia says she's watching this from from her cubicle at work. So she's uh, ah. she's trapped in a cubicle form. She wants to get out. Can you, <laughs> can you help her, Kate? <laughs> this, <laughs> this, I can tell you, is one of the fastest ways possible in order to make that happen. Um, I've been having a conversation with a lot of people lately with regards to um, to consistency versus rapid spikes and which one's better. So what I can tell you, and especially like for Cecilia or anybody who's on here that wants to um, get results and get results quickly, consistency, I will never say that it's not something you should have in your business. Consistency is key to create long-term growth. But one thing that I've learned is consistency is key, right? Doing something every single day in order to create a long-term business. But what do you do when you need to get out of a bind? or something happens in your life um, and you're in that high pressure moment where you've got to create results and create results quickly, this strategy is what allows that to happen. So good example, um, there was a, a tax bill that Andrew and I got that we didn't expect was going to be coming as soon as it did that we needed to pay and we really didn't have the finances to do it. And so what we did is we created a presentation, we hosted a webinar, and we made that money on the spot and we were able to pay for that. So same thing like Cecilia, if you're out, oh good, you're signed up, awesome, I'm excited to work with you. Um, if you're in that space where like you want to leave your job and you want to do it fast, the consistent step-by-step -step method, you know, that could take 6 to 12 to 18 months is great. However, if you want to get done sooner, this is a way for you to really inject some rapid force and a rapid spike in less time. So for me, that's the biggest thing when I think, when anybody says, you know, can this work for me? It definitely can. Um, and we actually have a student that just hopped into the training, literally set up his webinar system in the last five days, and he's hosting his first webinar tomorrow and has never hosted a webinar in his life. So it can be done very, very quickly. That's, that's awesome, Kate. Well, uh, that's, I mean, we're a little over, but I, I think everyone stuck around. It's, it's so funny that our, our attendance goes way up when when you're on the line and w when I'm on, it's like, you know, it goes down. People don't, people like you more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you need to dye your hair blonde. I, I, yeah, I, then... I need to I need to I need to let my my skin go pale and go blonde. <laughs> <laughs> or if I grow a goatee, maybe we'll lose some viewers. Yeah. Maybe that's what I need to do. <laughs> awesome, Kate. Well, thank you so much for being on. Uh, best of luck luck on your on your launch. I know. Uh, hundreds of people are already uh, a part of that that community you're starting and uh, I hope to see some awesome webinars coming up in the near future so yeah definitely thanks so much for me appreciate you having me on take care we'll talk soon all right take care Kate take care everybody